All right. Wild Man, Wild Man's Lodge. Day after. Day after the big button haul. And Bill Ladd says, yeah, I got to come and check this place out. I was like, all right, I'm going to scope it out. <laughs> I don't even think there's a number for how many buttons are there. No exaggeration. You just walk in. It was like blades of grass. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I, this video is going to be a whole bunch of them. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, um, try different, uh, experiments on how to clean buttons up. So I'm going to try electrolysis. I'm going to try the tumblers. I'm going to try hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to try a grinder. Uh, you know, we'll eye a brush on it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try that one too. Um, I'm going to try about every, every, uh, scenario. Olive oil. Yeah, man. We do try olive oil back in the, 70s bill said the olive oil was big turn your thing jet black so we got i got enough buttons here it don't matter but i'm gonna start it out with uh doing a gold uh gilt one uh i found i'm gonna give you a quick view of uh some of the buttons that i got yesterday it's, it's insane there was a uh, couple channels there i'll, I'll put the, their channels up not right johnny messy hole uh, James and Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca's finds, uh, Stan, the man, Stamonish the metal, go check him out. Check all these channels out. Uh, water boy was there. Uh, Bill Ladd, he, he's, he's the one that headed this whole thing up. So yeah, go check all these channels out. I'm going to try to make these videos short. It's going to be like five different parts. Each one probably on each kind of, uh, way to check it out. But, uh, and what what a heck of a day! All eight hours, probably, or maybe not eight hours. It was a long time. Don't know where the place was. Couldn't tell when I had the uh, grain sack over my head there, but um, not right, Johnny. <laughs> he cleaned house. I think messy. I mean, uh, James. He left with a literally a Walmart one use illegal bag in Connecticut full of uh, buttons. And this ain't no lie. Um, I'll show you what I got and then I'll bring you some more video of, uh, different stuff that I'm, uh, I'm going to try to clean these up with. So yeah, here's a, here's a quick view of what I got. Look at this. Look at, unbelievable. Is you scan through these is U S civil buttons is Eagle buttons. Is this, these are all metal. I kept aside. There's uh, some buckles. There's let's see if I get out of the sun here to get the, the better view. It is the gold gilt one. I'm gonna try to do lemon juice on. So we're gonna see what uh, how we uh, how we do with that. In some better focus. But there's there's every kind of button you can think of. There are some cool plastic ones I picked up. That gives you a good view of everything that, uh, and this isn't all of them. I got quite a few more. There's zippers, some pretty cool zippers. There was uh, a couple, Bill brought uh, trade bait. Here's a cool one there he liked. That was, this is the one that I think I would have won uh, find of the day on. Whoop. Upside down. And then there's another one here. This is the short line. There was a lot of railroad buttons there. Short line. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try a little bit of cleaning on every one of these. Here's another bucket full of buttons I gotta look at. I think I got the largest button in the world. This thing probably measures. I'll give you an idea. It is my cup of coffee. That's how big it is. <laughs> Huge. Huge. All right. Well, I'm going to cut this off here, and then I'm going to show you the go gilt uh, deal with lemon juice. So we'll catch you around. All right. Wild Man, Wild Man's Lodge. This is uh, the video one. Video one of uh, many, probably. I wanted to show, uh, try uh, different uh, different uses of uh, cleaning. I'm not no expert, and I'm not uh, promoting anybody's... Uh, 
any cleaning agents here or the items that I use to clean anything. YouTube has nothing to do with uh, this uh, video other than posting it on it. But uh, I'm going to try this uh, lemon juice uh, and uh, see how it does with the gold gilt here on this button. Um, let's give it a shot here. So let's see what we got going on. I'm going to use a Q-tip, got a little bit of uh, lemon juice on here. I'm going to see what happens when, uh, see what happens when we uh, give it a swab here. I'm trying to do this in the, the camera. Man. Unbelievable. Now I know afterwards I was told that you got to dilute it with water so the lemon juice doesn't keep uh, keep working. But I would say this is a. Uh, I would say this is a yes to do this with uh, anything gold gilt. Unbelievable. Whew. Baby. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I would definitely say um, looks like I painted it yellow almost. I'm not going to go too crazy with this because I've done more than once, uh, destroyed something that was pretty darn good. And, uh, there's some, some company on the back, some, uh, button company on the back. And I'll try to, uh, get that cleaned up later. But as far as lemon juice on, uh, gold gilt, I would say, Yay and not nay, that's for sure. Whew. That's unbelievable. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Let me see if I can focus in on that. Wow. All right. Stay tuned. We're going to try some other experiments on stuff, so... See how that makes out. That's pretty nice. All right, over and out, Wild Man, Wild Man's Lodge.